In this video, we will review your client's ability to register and schedule online, how you manage that, and setting it up on your own website. When TherapyAppointment.com was born, one of our defining features was, and still is, the ability for your clients to schedule themselves online. A majority of our customers who allow their clients to do so find this feature very convenient. In fact, the ability to schedule an appointment right now often will be very attractive to prospective clients who are shopping for a therapist online, as these persons are likely already used to using technology. There are an extraordinary number of ways to control your patient's online scheduling permissions with TherapyAppointment.com. For example, you can allow new patients to schedule, or only established patients, or only certain established patients. You can restrict online scheduling to appointment slots a few hours or days in the future so that there are no sudden surprises. You can allow new patients to register online even if you don't allow any of your clients to schedule. For you and your patient's convenience, TherapyAppointment.com provides you with the ability to direct clients to schedule on your own website or, if you do not have your own website, your clients can be directed to TherapyAppointment.com in order to access your schedule. We provide you with your own unique piece of computer code which allows access only to your schedule. This coding can be used to create a widget, link, or button on your own personal website. Here are a couple of examples of how you might use your link on your own website. There are many creative ways you can use your own website to display this link. This also keeps your clients coming to your own website on a routine basis. When a client clicks on your link, they're directed to your patient portal. The patient portal has several areas that are available to your client, which include new clients being able to register as patients, registered clients' ability to schedule or cancel appointments, the ability to check on the availability appointments without using a login ID or password, the ability to contact you via encrypted email, the ability for a registered client to update their contact or insurance information and change their password, and the ability to request their password if they've forgotten it. And finally, the ability to fill out a one-time biographical information form, which automatically attaches to their client chart. You have the option for several of these choices to not appear on your patient portal. You can choose the settings which remove the options for clients to view your schedule without a password or to contact you via encrypted email. Let's go into some of these areas and view them from the client's perspective. Potential clients can go to this box to set their first appointment and register online. If you do not wish for new clients to be able to register online, you will have a notification area which informs potential clients to call your office to set their first appointment. If you are allowing new clients to register as patients, then they will have a form which allows them to fill in their demographic information, indicate how they would like to receive appointment reminders, choose their own username and password, and give you their insurance information. If you are not an insurance provider, you may want to turn off the option which allows your clients to give you their insurance information on this registration form. When a client completes this form, if you are allowing your clients in general to set their own appointments, then your new client will automatically be directed to schedule their first appointment. New clients are only allowed to set a single appointment even if they later go in to cancel that appointment online. They will have to call you directly to schedule that future appointment. They cannot set any additional appointments in the system until after they've had their first session with you. When new clients are registering online and you provide us with your basic set of intake forms, we can have the system automatically email those forms to your client as PDF files. 
You are notified about any new registrations and any appointments via your message system in your therapist and admin accounts. These messages will be available and the new client registrations will come across as urgent messages. Here's a look at the messages the administrative account would receive about new clients registering. The newly registered client is automatically added into your client database and you can access their information by clicking on the Old Client button. The great news is that if you allow your clients to register online, most of the work of entering the information on a client is done for you by the client and this usually eliminates a piece of paper or two that you would have provided your clients in an intake packet. Just remember it's up to you to confirm their insurance information and choose the insurance company that is to be actually billed for these services. If you are just getting started with TherapyAppointment.com and are asking your clients to register using the system, which saves you from doing a lot of their data entry, just make sure that after they have registered online, that you change their status to current client if you would like them to have the option of rescheduling their appointments. You will also need to make sure to add in additional insurance information into their patient information page, such as preauthorization information and the number of sessions remaining in the current authorization period. When a client registers online, you have the option for the system to automatically direct them to fill out an autobiographical information form. This form can only be filled out by a client once and becomes part of the client's record. At this time, you do not have the option to customize this form, but you do have the option of adding an additional question or two to the end of the form. Once the client has filled in the biography, the therapist will receive a system message which indicates the client has completed the form and directions on how to access the form. Simply go to the client's information page. The form will be available via the biography button. The biography button will only appear on patients who have completed the form. Click on the button to view or print the biography. Once your client has registered as a patient or you have entered them into your database and provided them a username and password, your clients can then schedule their own appointments. You must have set your preferences up to allow clients to schedule online, however. They can log into this area of the patient portal to view their current appointment times and set or cancel future appointments. They are only allowed to see open, available appointment times. If you happen to have more than one office or a unique circumstance you need your clients to be aware of before registering, you have the option of putting an alert which appears in red font on this page. You have complete control over how far in advance your clients can schedule appointments online. If you are allowing new clients to set their own one-time appointment online and you accept insurance, we recommend setting your system for at least a 24-hour advance notice in order to allow time to confirm their benefits and obtain authorizations. Every time a client schedules or cancels an appointment, you will get alerts within the TherapyAppointment.com message system. You can also elect to have those particular messages sent through to your personal email. The patient's name will be blinded in order to maintain HIPAA confidentiality. This is a nice feature to use since you do not need to be logged into your account to view the changes. The message will alert you to the exact time the client created the new or canceled the appointment, allowing you to bill for late cancellations if that happens to be your policy. Your cancellation policy is noted on the patient scheduled appointments page and you can choose to either allow clients to schedule online within that cancellation policy window or you can have the system notify the client to call your office to reschedule if their cancellation falls within your policy limits. An option you can have appear on your patient portal page 
is the ability for clients to quickly view your availability without logging in with a username and password. This is a nice feature to have available for current patients who are waiting for an appointment slot to open up in the near future, or for prospective clients who are considering selecting you as their therapist. They can likely tell if you offer those Friday appointments or evening appointments to quickly assess if you fit their desires in that manner. Another option you can have appear on your patient portal is the ability for clients to send you their encrypted emails from this page. Patients initiating an email through this portal guarantees their confidentiality according to HIPAA guidelines. These emails come to you through the system messages and are marked as urgent messages in order to grab your attention. If a client forgets their password, they can send you a message right from the portal in order to retrieve it. We do encourage you to ensure that it is the actual client who sent the message before providing them the password. This is simple to do by contacting the client very briefly by phone. You likely know the sound of your client's voice, or you can ask them to supply you with additional identifying information. Your clients can go in and update their demographic and contact information in your database by logging in. Your client can also change his password and update his reminder preferences by logging into this area. You will get a message about which information was updated by the client as a system message. Next, let's look at creating a patient portal on your own website. If you have your own website, you will likely want to link your TherapyAppointment.com patient portal to it. However, your website requires a piece of code supplied by TherapyAppointment.com that directs traffic to your patient portal. That piece of code is provided to you within each individual therapist account. Each therapist in your group will require their own portal on your website in order for their clients to schedule with them. To retrieve your unique piece of code, log in to your therapist account, go to the gray set of buttons, click the Help button. In the Table of Contents area, choose Setting up a link to TherapyAppointment.com on your own website. At the top of this page is your piece of code. Copy it and paste it into an email to your webmaster or follow the directions on your own website to insert the HTML code and create a link, button, or widget. Providing us your paperwork to be auto-emailed. Your intake paperwork can be automatically emailed to your new clients only when they register themselves online as new patients. You will need to provide us your paperwork as a .pdf file. If your intake paperwork happens to be a Word file, it's very simple to save it in PDF form from a Word document. To send us your paperwork, log into your therapist account, go to the Help button, click on Contact Tech Support, and hit Create a Ticket. Put in your information and attach that PDF file to the ticket by using the Upload button. Please send us your intake paperwork as one .pdf file instead of several smaller files. Managing your settings. Each therapist can manage their own settings for their patient portal by logging into their therapist account and going to the gray preferences button. Consider setting up a practice client in your account and give them a username and password that you'll remember. This allows you to log into the patient portal and view it from your patient's perspective. Let's look at managing the patient portal settings in general. This set of yes-no buttons in your preferences area is great to review as many of your options are here. There are also a few more as you scroll down where you can manage the lead time you need for the creation or cancellation of client appointments. I encourage you to take some time to study the options available to you here. I will review some common scenarios which therapists often have questions about. First of all, 
In order to have the patient portal work, you must select Yes to allow patients to schedule through TherapyAppointment.com site, even if you only have the patient portal on your own website. Adding additional questions to the biography form. You can type a question or two into this box on your preferences area. Remember to save your changes. To allow new clients to register, but no clients have the ability to schedule online, click Yes to allow patients to schedule through TherapyAppointment.com site. Click Yes to allow new clients to schedule a one-time appointment online. And in the area where it says patients can't book appointments occurring in the next blank number of hours online, fill up this box with nines. Patients will be able to log in with usernames and passwords to view their already scheduled appointments, but will be directed to call your office to set an appointment. To take away the ability for a particular patient to schedule online, go, go to the patient information page and remove their username from the data. Consider entering into the username field a word such as rescinded or not allowed in case your client attempts to call your front desk and inquire why they cannot get into their account to log in. At a quick glance, your support staff will know what the word means when it's entered as a username. They can then inform your client that your client will have to talk to you, the therapist, about the situation. If you wish your clients to still be able to receive encrypted emails from you, such as their statements, receipts, and other communications, they must have an email address and password on file with you, so be sure and not take their password away. To put an appointment site note on your scheduling page, Go to the Preferences area and find this field right underneath your therapist demographics. Type your message into the field. It will appear in red on the page where your client chooses their own appointments. We hope you found this video helpful. Please give us any feedback or information about any additional scenarios that you would like to see included on this video.